channel. So today's look is kind of a smoky, sultry eye with this green that matches my hair. But you know, as you're watching this, you see the title, you see this look, you're like, all right. But in the beginning of the video, I really didn't have any idea what to do. So I knew that I wanted to do a tutorial using the new Urban Decay Vice 4 palette. So yeah, I did a look. This is it. If you want to know how to get it, then keep on watching. Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to start off with is my Mario Badescu. Badescu went through this in another video. I'm not going to even try, however you say it. Um, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This is just going to add a little bit of hydration back into the skin just to prep it. So once that has dried, I'm going to go back in with a primer and I'm going to be using my Photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. And again, I'm just going to spritz this on the face. So the first product I'm going to start with is my Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. And this is an SX05 and I have had this thing forever and I've barely even dented it. So I want to use this today to kind of start with concealing and then I'm going to put my foundation over because I want to see how much coverage this is going to give me. But yeah, it's kind of backwards today because usually you do your foundation and then you go with your concealer. But I want to mix it up a little bit. I'm going to start with this first. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this product and apply it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to kind of apply this underneath my eyes. And I'm going to go back in with a beauty blender so don't worry. And I'm just going to apply that. This is pretty thick. Yeah, I haven't used this product in a really long time, so I want to see what happens. So I'm just going to apply it anywhere that I would normally highlight or conceal. Like so. And now I'm going to take my damp beauty blender and blend this all out. pretty thick and creamy so you definitely don't want to go heavy-handed um, it would probably start creasing and get cakey if you do apply too much but using it with a beauty blender will kind of thin it out and make it a more flawless finish if that makes sense but yeah we're gonna move on to foundation now and the foundation I'm gonna be using is the covergirl ready set gorgeous and I'm gonna mix it with a couple drops of my cover effects drops so I'm gonna mix these two together. This is in 115 and this is in N20. Once I have applied my foundation, we don't need to go back with concealer because we already did that. It even brightened up the face. So I'm just going to set my entire face using my MAC Select Sheer Pressed Powder. And this is in NC20. And I'm going to be using a Morphe 556 brush to lightly dust that on our face. So now that we've set the face, I'm going to move on to contouring slash bronzing and warming up the skin. I'm going to be using this Pixie Beauty Contour Powder and this is in Shape and Shadow. It's a really pretty neutral toned matte bronzing color. So I'm going to take this with my Sigma F40 brush and I'm going to take a little bit because this is very pigmented, tap it out and start carving out our cheeks, but I'm going to give it more of a diffused look because I don't want it anything like, you know, crusty. So. So next up is blush and for my blush I'm going to be using this tiny little Too Faced uh, Love Flush blush in Justify My Love and this comes in a cute little set with three blushes and three of their melted liquid lipsticks. They're so so cute. I just posted a picture on my Instagram if you're interested but this is new for their holidays. So I'm going to be taking this color and applying this to my cheeks. So 
that was a super pigmented blush but nonetheless it is gorgeous it's a beautiful natural like flushed look so definitely love this blush it's a very cute color moving on to highlighter um, I'm gonna be taking my Kat Von D eyeshadow in the color Thunderstruck I talked about these well, these soon, I'll explain. But I talked about this and the next product in my September favorites. I talked about how I love using them together because they're so, so pretty. So, y'all. So, this is in Thunderstruck, and I'm going to take it with my Royal and Lang Nickel Revolution BX45 brush. This brush I always use for my highlighters. I don't know why. It's just kind of designated for that. So, you guys always ask me which brush I use. So, it's this one here. So, I'm going to take the Thunderstruck color, tap it off a little bit, and apply that to the highest point of my cheeks. So the highlighter I'm going to apply on top of this one, which is totally not necessary, but I just love how they look together, is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop Highlight. Just adds a little bit of like warmth glow to your skin. I just really like it. So, yeah. So we're pretty much done with the face. So I'm going to move on to the eyebrows. For my eyebrows, I'm going to be using this Pixi Beauty Endless Brow Gel Pen, which is like kind of a pencil. And this is in medium. I'm going to go ahead and use this with an angled brush just because I like to get a little bit more precision, but I love the formula. Once you apply it, it's not going to go anywhere. So this is a really, really good pencil, but I'm going to use it with a brush. I'm going to be using my Morphe B74 brush. It's a double-ended brush with a spoolie and an angled brush. And I'm just going to take it from the top of the pencil. You know, I'm super fancy like that. And I'm just going to fill in my eyebrows. <laughs> Now it's time for the eyes, and for my eyes, I want to use this Vice 4 palette by Urban Decay that I just received for my birthday as a gift, and I'm really, really happy, and I'm so excited to use this. I have barely just even, like, touched one eyeshadow, so I'm really excited. This is the first Vice palette that I've ever owned, so this is really going to be fun. The packaging, beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. And the inside is just as beautiful. I think, oh god, I just stabbed it. Oh, no. I just killed it. It's okay. Um, the inside is beautiful as well. I don't want to blind you guys, but you have a lot of bright, bold colors as well as some neutral shades. So, yeah, I don't know what I want to do quite yet. I don't know what colors I want to use, but I have some turquoise green hair right now. So, I'm kind of thinking of doing something to match my hair. Maybe doing these greeny, turquoisey colors mixed with some neutrals. So it can be wearable, of course. Um, so yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. I have already primed my eyelids, and now I'm going to apply the color Framed, which is a really pretty nude matte shade. And that's going to go underneath, underneath the brow bone, and I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit. And now I'm going to be taking the color Discreet and applying this in my crease. This color is very interesting. It's kind of a really light purpley gray color. It's a very, very unique shade and I think it's the perfect transition color. So I'm just going to build this color up in my crease to make all the other colors a little bit easier to blend. Okay, so now I'm going to take the color Delete and this is a really nice matte cocoa brown color and this is going to go in our crease to start darkening up the look a little bit. Now I'm going to take the color Bitter, which is a beautiful rusty brown matte shade, and I'm just going to warm up that crease just a little bit. So now is the fun part. We're going to add that pop of green, and I'm going to take the color Arctic, which is a gorgeous teal shade. I'm just going to apply something underneath my eye just to catch any fallout. Usually with anything that has more sparkles and glitter in it, you're going to get a little bit of fallout. So I'm just going to apply this to my lids. And now on the rest of the lid on the inner part, I'm going to take C Note, which is a softer light green, which is kind of a more sea foam green. I'm just going to apply that there. 
I'm going to go back to my blending brush and I'm just going to clean up the edges. So now I'm going to apply a shade to the bottom of my lash line and this color is called Crowbar and it's a really cool green gold blackish color. So it's really going to smoke out the bottom. I kind of went for a more dark, dramatic, sultry look. So yeah, and I'm, again, I'm going to put something underneath just so I don't get fallout everywhere. Now I'm going to go back to that Kat Von D eyeshadow in Thunderstruck that we use as our highlighter. And I'm going to apply that to the center part, not the center, the inner parts of my eye. So this palette doesn't have a matte black, so I'm just going to grab this from my Makeup Geek Shadows. And this is Corrupt, and I'm going to take a very, very small amount of this. I'm going to tap that out and apply that right over here, focusing it kind of on the outer crease part. We're not going to really bring it all the way up. So just a really small amount. So now it's time to add that wing liner. So I'm going to take my Morphe Brushes Gel Eyeliner in the color Slate, which is just black and I'm going to create a nice little wing. Now I'm gonna apply the gel liner to the top and bottom waterline. And now just apply some mascara. I'm going to apply these lashes from Violet Voss, and it's called Wisp It Real Good. So I'm just going to pop these on. So for my lips, I'm going to be applying this liquid lipstick by Black Moon Cosmetics, and this is in the color Libra. It's a really pretty mauve nude shade, so it's perfect. I'm going to keep it a little bit more simple on the lips, but I love this color. This is like a new favorite. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this to my lips. final look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I really, really like how this came out. A really nice, sultry, smoky eye with a pop of color that totally just matches my hair like perfectly. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any other requests for tutorials using this palette or any other palette, please let me know down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Makeup by Jessie, always posting stuff on there. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. I'm just going to use a shot. So once that... <clears throat> so once that's... So one, one starts doing this. I'm gonna be using my hello. Now it's a tech, kind of like the actual color of my. That gives you rat, rat. It gives you rat. Up is. Oh, oh. it. At least two, but I don't know. It was really nice, I like it.